Water management is a vital aspect when it comes to the catfish farming. Now, most times you will notice that if your catfish are not growing as it used to be, or most times you notice mortality in your pond. Now, the fish are always in the water, 247, and that helps them to grow. Now, if the water is contaminated, if the water is affected, it affects the growth rate, and it also affects how the fish react to even feeding, and also how they react to growth. So today, I'm with a test kit, a simple test kit you could use to test your water to be ensure that the water is okay for the catfish growth. So it's a simple tool that you can just use on your own and it gives you an accurate reading on the nature of your water to know if it's okay for the catfish for them to survive well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make use of this simple test kit how to test your water, how to get good results if the water is okay for catfish. Now, if you're a new farmer, you could use this before starting the pond. Once you have the water in the pond, you test it before stocking your fish. An existing farmer, most times, the, the, because of the seasons, the water change, sometimes the pH might be high, and most times you notice the pH might be low. So with this simple test kit, you can use it to test how the water reacts from different seasons and how they change. Now, the seven, this is a seven-in-one test kit. Now we have the ammonia. It can test the ammonia in the fish pond, the nitrate level in the fish pond, the nitrite, the iron level, the water hardness, total alkalinity, and also the pH. So these are the seven parameters this simple test kit could help you discover in your fish pond. So no need going to run a lab analysis for your water. With this simple test kit, 7 and one it, and it has 100 strips in it. So we'll show you how it's being used. It has 100 strips in it. So with the 100 strips, you could test your water. You have different ponds. You could test all your ponds. And before you can exhaust the 100 strips in it. So it's an easy to use um, kit. How you use it, you would, once you open the test kit, So once you open the test kit, you see it has 100 strips in it. So I'll show you how it works. So this is it. This is how it looks like. So it has the 7 and 1 parameters. So you dip it in your pond or you can fresh out the water from the pond. You dip it on it and leave it for just 2 seconds. Then you bring it out. Then compare the reading with the chart here. So this is the chart here. This is the strips, how the strips look like. So you compare the reading with it and ensure the value of the water to know if it's safe. Now, there's also a reading on the top. You see the value from zero to six. For each of them, they'll give you the value that is okay, the value that is bad. So you know if the water is okay or not. So we'll dip it. This is an empty pond. We are using it in water to prepare a pond. So we'll dip the strip for two seconds in the pond. So once we are done, we we'll remove all the water level. Then we'll take it to the chart. So look at the chart here. So we'll start. We'll compare the values that we have with what we have in the chart. So you can see. So if you see the from the down, you see the, our pH level, the color is showing okay. Same thing for the total canality. We have the water hardness. The value is at zero. Our iron is showing white. You see it as it's okay. Then if you look at the one for the nitrates and the nitrite and the ammonia. So you can from our chart to find out that our values are okay for the pond. So that means the water we have is okay for the for use for training of the catfish. So you can use this simple kit to test your water to be ensure that the water is okay to breed the catfish so that you can enable faster growth for your fishes in the pond. So you do well to reach us on the number on the screen to get it. It can be distributed nationwide to anywhere you are in the world.